Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about how to maintain and create the controlling area. So what is controlling area? So controlling area is used for internal reporting purpose which records and analyze our head related activities like cost center accounting, cost element accounting, internal order and also manufacturing related activities like product costing and for internal unit analysis and evaluation for profit center accounting. So to maintain and do cost element accounting, cost center accounting, internal order, product costing, profit center accounting, we have to maintain the controlling area first and we will assign the company code to the controlling area. So to assign the company code to controlling area, we can assign multiple company codes to one controlling area. But we have to meet specific conditions like chart of account for controlling area and company code must be the same and fiscal year variant for the company code and controlling area must be the same. So let's go in the system and create one controlling area for our company and assign the company code to the controlling area. So for this I am going to SPRO screen. reference IMG enterprise structure definition controlling so here we are going to maintain the controlling area maintain controlling area so I am going to create controlling area for my company so it is 1214 and the name is Hassan. So I am also responsible for this controlling area. So, so in the assignment control we have two options available. The one is controlling area same as company code. Another one is cross company code co cost accounting. So we, if we are going to assign only one company code to one controlling area, so we are going to choose the first option. So if we are going to assign multiple company codes to one controlling area, so we have to choose the second option. SFP recommend to choose the second option always. So I am going to do this because if another company is acquired by our company, so we are unable to change this and we are we are unable to assign that another company to our controlling area so for this reason I am going to assign the cross company code cost accounting so the currency type multiple currency types are available company code currency cost controlling area currency group currency so these currency I have already discussed in the currency types session of our tutorials so I am going to use the group currency so why we are going to use the group currency because if we are going to use the 20 controlling area currency we are unable to use the material ledger so to use the material ledger and to activate the material ledger we are going to use the group currency so this is the currency we have assigned to the client level so system automatically pick the currency assigned to our client so what is our client our client is 800 so this is assigned to the client and my chart of account is 1214 and my fiscal year variant is KB so save this not going to use the person responsible my request is Hassan so system is saving all the customization setting in the transport request so the basic purpose of transport request to transport the customized setting from one server to another server so 
it is taking too much time. So it is saved. So I have created my controlling area. So now I am going to assign this controlling area to my company code. So I can assign multiple company codes to one controlling area. So for my case, I am going to assign one com one company code to one controlling area. So now go back and assign. So I am going to the assignment and controlling it. And assign company code to controlling area. So user 04 is using my transaction let's kick in art so for to log off any user I am going to use transaction code SM04 so this user is using this transaction let's log this off log of user so now go back SPRO reference IMG enterprise structure assignment controlling assign company code to controlling area so my controlling area is 1214 and I am going to assign the company code. So go to new entry and assign 1214. So it is assigned now. So the currency is already added. So this is the way we are going to maintain and create the controlling area and assign to company code. So multiple company codes can be assigned to one controlling area. So only two conditions are required to be met. One is both the country code, uh, company code and controlling area is clear variant and chart of account must be the same. So that's all for this video. Thank you.